what a friend we have in Jesus. Uh, I did that a while back, and I've just got a recent request uh, to do that song again, and uh, to do a lesson on it, actually. And I can never remember the names of, of these people that request these things. I know it has the word dog in it. I don't know if it's dog man or what. I forgot, but... Uh, this lesson was requested to do a lesson uh, on this because I did a performance probably a couple of years ago. It's been a while back. And uh, decided to just go ahead and try to uh, answer that request while I can, while I've got all the equipment set up. And we'll try this. Um, starts at in G. I'm hitting the open B note here. And just walking up chromatically. Then we're in the uh, third position G here, which is an F shape. Hammering on from the, uh, the bass string from the third to the fifth fret. And then sliding down uh, from the uh, this position where we have the F. C right there and then I did a little run C uh, just using uh, notes from the I guess the C blue scale you could go far down as, D, as E so those notes are um, open E then you've got your first fret, third fret. Uh, it starts with an upstroke, by the way. Maybe it's a downstroke. I can't remember. But you've got um, okay, um, your open E, first fret, first fret, third fret uh, on the E string, and then open A, and then a chromatic walk up from the first, third, second, and third fret on the A string. And then, right there automatically, if you're using your ring finger, one if you're using one finger per fret, your ring finger's right there on the C, so you're right there in that shape again. So you're going to hammer on to the next string, the D string, on the second fret, and then a downstroke on the G. And then the note is, but instead of doing the walk down, I go take this C shape here without the uh, ring finger and just hit uh, those, those last four strings. Actually, the last three strings, the D, the G, and the B. And it gives you a little bit more harmony. in that position I use that position quite a bit it's very handy it's that G string like if you was to make a, an F here with your uh, first finger or your middle finger on the third fret the fourth fret excuse me and the first finger barring the B and the E string on the uh, fifth fret third finger on the G string except I'm using I'm not even using the E string I'm just using the two notes the B and the uh, G strings here. And hammer on. That's a open B there. Or you could go and repeat it. Here I usually change up the, the little C lick, so I'll just do a hammer on. And Tony Rice is very popular for that. 
So you're hammering on uh, where you got the C here, you're hammering on uh, your middle finger on that D string, second fret, then up, that's a down stroke, and then an up stroke on the G, open G. And at the same time you're moving this first finger down the first fret to that uh, D string and then pulling off. So that is a hammer or uh, pull off and then C on the A string, third fret, and then back to that open D and back to that uh, third fret. Really the way I, the, the, the picking for that down stroke, up stroke, and then down stroke, another down stroke, up down. So that hammer on, I mean the pull off, and that down to that uh, third fret is two down strokes. Let's see, here's where we're at. same shapes and that's the end of the A part and then you're going that's the part of the D7 uh, notes here now I'm actually barring down here because you're going to need that Now the D7 shape down here, we're going to use that ascending all the way up, okay, from right here. The, the pattern that I use is, it's a down on that G string, up on the B, down on the G, and then up, up. Up, up, E string, B string, and then down the G string. So we're going up, uh, let's see, for a total of four frets. And that's half steps, and then you get a whole step which is a C, F shape up here. These fingers are on the uh, see, eighth fret and then you got the ninth fret with this middle finger. The D shape down here is the G. shape for the D that I'm using down here. Which is the same thing down here. Like if you're playing a D and you added that pinky on the, the, the D string. Four fret. Well instead of doing that, since you're trying to use all, all four fingers, you just switch your uh, position. So that now your middle finger is up here in your second finger that was down here on the A string second fret is up on the B string third fret where that middle finger was and you're barring with this finger but that's up here this is an A shape which we're back down to D For that, 
a little blues tag out and turn around. Um, that is the, let's see, the seventh fret. You're using your uh, ring and your middle finger. Your middle finger goes on the D string. And we're like I said, we're on the seventh fret, and the ring finger goes on the B string, and you're skipping the G string. You're not even playing it. You're just plucking, using the pick and these and then your middle fingers, or even a slide when you get to the end. Thirteen or something, and huh, that chord is uh, you, you leave your your ring finger on the C, A string, third fret, and all you're doing is switching. You're moving your middle finger from the D string second fret to the G string second fret, and you're moving your first finger from the B string first fret to the D string first fret. And then I'm adding that open B that was held down by this finger here. got to play around with some of these songs until you find something that sounds good uh, I, I do a lot of melody stuff like um, what a friend we have in G and you follow the melody and then you add little things here and there like later on just whatever sounds good and uh you know, kind of, that's what improvising and phrasing is all about. But hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, please subscribe, tell your friends about me. And uh, I've got a couple more requests that I'm going to try to do. One of them is, um, uh, Honey, You Don't Know My Mind. Um, i got to look up the words to that. I know the song, but I don't know it by heart. And I was, the same guy that requested this is uh, wanting to hear, see what, what kind of lead. Uh, lead break I can do on that song and I'm kind of interested to find that out myself see you know because we never played it and uh, I like to think about solos and think of what sounds good but we'll get to that next time and uh, thank you guys for being patient for watching and I hope this wasn't too long hope I wasn't rambling too much for y'all subscribe please subscribe and check out our other page eclectic guitarists eclectic guitarists check us out uh, I'm subscribed you know, on my channel to that page and you can find it through that or you can go to youtube.com slash eclectic guitarists as in plural and you'll find us and uh, we're working on a lot of stuff for that so appreciate you guys tuning in we'll catch you next time thanks